He was Egypt's first democratically elected president, but his presidency was short-lived. A year after his election, Mohamed Morsi was ousted by a military coup led by then-general Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. Morsi spent the last six years of his life in prison and died while standing trial for charges that many legal observers and rights groups say were politically motivated. A 2019 UN panel of experts said that Morsi's death could amount to a state-sanctioned arbitrary killing. Morsi was held in conditions that can only be described as brutal, particularly during his five-year detention in the Torah prison complex. Here is a glimpse into how his life unfolded, from political activism to death in prison. Morsi was born in the Nile Delta province of Sharqiya in 1951. He studied engineering at Cairo University in the 1970s, before moving to the United States to complete a PhD. After returning to Egypt, he became head of the engineering department at Zagazig University. Morsi went on to become active in politics as a member of the Muslim Brotherhood, and when the movement was banned, he served as an independent in the parliamentary bloc from 2000 to 2005. In 2006, he was arrested and imprisoned for seven months after participating in protests calling for the establishment of an independent judiciary in Egypt. He was also arrested during the 2011 revolution that forced Hosni Mubarak to step down as president. Morsi was chosen as the Muslim Brotherhood's presidential candidate in April of 2012, after the movement's deputy general guide, Khairat al shatter was disqualified from running by the National Elections Commission. A narrow electoral victory against former Prime Minister Ahmed Shafiq brought Morsi to power. Months after he took power, the Egyptian streets were flooded, with protesters calling for Morsi's resignation. The rallies were partly in response to Tamarod, a grassroots movement that launched a petition calling for Morsi to step down and allow early elections. Tamarod claimed that they had collected more than 22 million signatures supporting their demands. It was later revealed that the campaign was manipulated by the military and the old regime's loyalists. The widespread protests were fueled by a worsening economy and a controversial constitutional decree adopted by Morsi that many viewed as granting him extensive powers. Morsi eventually annulled the decree, but the protests continued. The last week of June 2013 saw outbreaks of violence across the country. Protests against Morsi and those supporting his rule split the country into two camps. Abdul Fattah al-Sisi, who was then Morsi's defense minister and head of the armed forces, presented himself as a neutral mediator between the opposition and Morsi. But Egyptian officials later revealed that Sisi had been plotting a coup for several months. On July 3rd, Egypt's military officers removed Morsi from office and put him in military custody. The military suspended the constitution and installed an interim government. Protests supporting Morsi after his removal were violently suppressed. On August 14, 2013, two sites occupied by Morsi's supporters were raided by armed forces, leaving hundreds dead. Human Rights Watch documented 904 deaths, describing it as crimes against humanity and one of the world's largest killings of demonstrators in a single day in recent history. Mohamed Morsi spent the next six years of his life at various prisons. One of his detentions was at the notorious Scorpion Prison, described as a tomb for political prisoners in Egypt and denounced by rights groups for its inhumane conditions and torture tactics. The former president had a long history of chronic illnesses, including diabetes and liver and kidney diseases. But according to rights groups and his family, he was denied basic medical care in prison. A panel of British parliamentarians and international lawyers published a report on Morsi's detention in 2018 saying, Mohamed Morsi was receiving inadequate medical care for his diabetes and liver disease, which could have contributed to his premature death. His detention conditions could meet the threshold of torture under Egyptian and international law. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi was primarily responsible for the crime of torture against Morsi. Amnesty International and other rights groups have urged Egyptian authorities to investigate the circumstances of Morsi's death and the conditions of his detention, but the Egyptian government has yet to respond. 